God damn. Hello everyone. Welcome back to Dollar Tree Tactical. Today's video. I already made this video, but it was too shitty, so I'm doing it again and I got more shit for y'all. <laughs> Hello everyone. Today I'm talking about some really cool shit from my guys over at Patriot Tactical. Now you're probably wondering, who the fuck is Patriot Tactical? And I was too. Until I met the dude at a gun show and he was given and I talked to him. And I had a really cool shirt, and he gave me a free knife, and I've been doing some social media shit for him, and I got more free shit. So, let's go over it. Now, Patriot Tactical is a online tactical gear and camping gear retailer that also makes these baller ass knives. Um, I got some really cool shit, including these nice stainless steel pens, and just like a pile of stickers from this dude. More on the fun stuff later. Time to talk about... What I was given, and the main thing, these three knives. These are my guy's flagship products. I'm talking some real first batch, up and coming company type shit. Now what we have here is the Ghost EDC knife. This is a gorgeous ball bearing, three inch blade, something something type steel knife. With a nice little logo on the blade. This comes in ranger green or black. The green one has a blue ball bearing. The next two are a little bit more fun and a little less practical. This one is a beefy ass OTF knife with a really nice blade. Mm, look at that. Gorgeous Tonto edge, a couple serrations. Really nice, really bulky, really well made. And the next one is a little bit more fun, a little funky. This is an OTF Karambit. Look at that. Now you're probably wondering, Dollar Tree, why should I buy this bullshit when I can get an Amazon or a gas station knife for like $5? Well, simply because it's made here in my local state of Arizona, and it's some really nice, really fun shit. Now, on to the first knife. This, the Ghost EDC knife, ball bearing, super smooth. Something something style of blade. It has a nice back steel clip. I find that very nice and it's very comfortable to wear it with like sweatpants, gym shorts, all that. And just I cannot understand how smooth that is. Just, oh my god. Now, this dude's main project, and actually the one he carries, is this gorgeous, really well built OTF knife. To my knowledge, these are rubber coated metal panels that it's made out of and per usual it's a something something type of steel i forgot to ask my bad but it's really nice it's really bulky it's really beefy and now on to the funnest knife the otf karamba it has this really nice scale pattern design same business where it's like a rubber coated metal it's really bulky it's really beefy it feels great in the hand it has a nice little strong string for that gorgeous karambit curved edge. Now, since it wouldn't be a fair fight if I didn't, right here I have uh, some shitty gas station Amazon type knife. Um, it came with like a fucking one of those like survival packs that come uh, <laughs> detachable Molly bags. So we're gonna compare this bullshit to these gorgeous tools. Mm. Now first, on the Olympic chopping block, these are all factory sharpened knives, I haven't done shit to them, so let's see what they do against just a regular piece of paper. Alright, alright. Let's do a gas station knife. Okay, okay. Let's do the OTF Karambit. I gotta get a new piece of paper because I fucked that one up. And let's go with this man's regular OTF. Mmm. Smooth. Now for the next battle of the bullshit. We have size. Using my pair of calipers and inches. 
Let's get the OTF blade. It has a width and length of 3.5 inches. Let's get the gas station knife. You have a length of three point roughly two inches. Let's go for the ghost. You have roughly three point three inches. Let's go for the OTF Karambit. Have a slightly smaller roughly 2.8 inch blade now what it makes up for in size it makes up for in fun god damn i had to fix my camera anyways back to a more important statistic than blade length the personality oh wait shit uh wrong joke let's talk about the actual length of these knives zeroed on inches the regular otf knife comes out to a semi-large 5.4 inches the shitty gas station knife comes out to 4.75 inches the ghost comes out to 4.56 inches and the OTF Karambe comes out to a ginormous 5.8 inches. Damn, you know, I gotta say, 5.8 inches is pretty big. In fact, one might say that's even too much knife, you know? Like, 3 inches, that's pretty nice. I'm gonna save the bullshit. Um, I was gonna go and measure these all out for width, but they all come out to, like, half an inch. So it, it's really not worth doing that and wasting the time. Anyways. Now, since we're done comparing knives, I can finally get rid of this trash. And talk about the cool stuff. So for the ghost, it acts like your average knife. Ball bearing, not spring. So all you have to do is just give it a nice flick. And it'll open and it'll lock nice and tight. For, OT for the OTF knives, all you have to do is take this handle. And just push it forward and injects the blade all the way out. And you pull it back and it brings the blade all the way in. But on the karambit, it's kind of reversed because of the way you hold these things. So all you have to do, take it, give it a nice firm press down, knife out, nice firm press in, blade in. It's simple, really. In fact, let's take a moment to get away from the knives and talk about all that merch. All that merch. I got a shit ton of stickers from this man. This is from an older set that I originally got with the Ghost. It also came with a gorgeous metal keychain that I keep on my keys because it's nice and it also came with a patch that I got for having that bother t-shirt that I mentioned earlier look at the screen now to see it oh shout out to barely legal co they make cool shirts now for packaging you can look at the screen now to watch a really sped up version from the original video and from the unboxing I just did on the regular OTF uh, look at that now, it'll take like 10 seconds. Overall, for a brand new company that literally has like four products, Bro's doing pretty well. Yeah, he got some baller logos, got good products, good pricings. I wish him the best of luck. And I'll see y'all later. Anyways, I finally found my fucking ball of clava. I don't know where it went, but it's back. Have a good time. Stay silly. Buy this man's shit, and I'll see y'all next time.